Hey, this is Brennan from Tecton, here to show you how to wall mount your Tecton air hose reel. Included with your reel is this packet, which contains a 90 degree swivel connector, which you can use as a second option to connect your lead in air hose to your air hose reel, thread sealing tape, two extra O rings, and an extra snap ring. A detailed operator's manual, which you should read and understand before installing your air hose reel. And a mounting template. We're now going to take you through the steps and how we installed our air hose reel on our mounting bracket, which is installed into two studs in the wall. We cut out the mounting template and centered it on the mounting bracket. The next step is to use a center punch to mark the drill spots. We've drilled our holes in our mounting bracket and now we're ready to install it on the wall. When choosing a location, remember that the air hose reel can only be mounted to a load bearing structure that can support the weight of the air hose reel and the force applied to it when in use. For our workshop, we have to install the air hose reel into drywall, so we created this bracket to span two studs so it can support the weight of the air hose reel. Pre-install the lower hardware, but make sure you leave enough space so you can slide the base of the air hose reel behind the washer. We're using a bolt, a lock washer, and a washer. With the help of a friend, slide the slotted base into the pre-installed hardware. and immediately insert the top fasteners. Tighten all fasteners until they're snug. The last step is to connect your air hose reel to your supply line using a lead-in air hose and we're using quick release connectors for this installation process. And now you're ready to use your new Tecton air hose reel.